If you're wanting to make millions of coins every single month and have the best team on FC before everyone else, then look no further than my premium trading Discord. We have five of the best traders posting daily investments, daily flips, snapping filters, trading guides, literally everything you need to make coins on this game, we are posting in the Discord every day. So if that does sound interesting to you, all you need to do to join is go into the first link of today's video's description, press the buy premium link. Once you're over onto the Twitch, all you need to do now is subscribe to my channel uh, you can either pay five pounds a month but i think right now you can actually get 25 percent off um so if you know what i mean it's a no-brainer um or you can subscribe for free if anyone in your family's got amazon prime or you connect it to your twitch account uh, you get a free sub every single month and you can join so get yourself in there why not it's free uh, and you're going to make millions and then the last step all you need to do is obviously join the discord um, and connect your discord and twitch together um, if you don't know how to do that uh, there is literally steps in the discord the how to join section press that it tells you step by step how to actually do it uh, and you'll be in the discord in no time right guys starting off with the first method of today's video we are gonna have two low budget methods uh, and then we're gonna have one like medium slash high budget it's like nearly 20k so it's probably a high budget um but yeah let's start with one of the lower budget methods now which is going to be a gold writ and uh, not gold writ a normal quality gold sorry uh, position playstyle camp style nation we are going to leave at any uh, league we are going to go all the way up to the la liga ea sports um, and then club you are going to going to want to go to real madrid um, and these are currently quite expensive because of obviously these are snipes um, but yeah, uh, these are quite expensive because of basically they're going to be in the marquee matchups. Um, so obviously people have invested. Obviously, that basically means they're going to go up in price. Uh, and they have done already, which they are about 1,000. Um, obviously, the higher we can sell, the better. But they're about 1,000 coins, it looks like. Um, which is obviously what we are going to be selling at. Unless you want to keep them, you know, snipe them for a little bit cheaper and keep them until they go in marquee matchups, up to you. Um, but personally, I would just, you know, take your profit instantly so you're not risking, you know, losing coins or whatever. But yeah, we're going to sell it at 1,000. So you're going to lose exactly 50 coins per card. So all we're going to do uh, is go down to about 800 coins a pop uh, and then like basically try and pick up anything that does obviously pop up. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can obviously pick a few of these up. Um, what I personally would recommend though, or especially for these or this method and the last method, I would recommend bidding. Obviously, sniping's you know it's all fun and games, but at the minute with obviously the uh, the market kind of being delayed and stuff, you know, sniping's quite difficult. Um, obviously, that's the uh, the only problem with you know the game being a bit delayed. But I mean, we oh no, we didn't get that. I swear I got that. But yeah, basically the market's quite delayed. So there's one thing that doesn't really matter if it's delayed or not, and that's going to be bidding. And we are just going to bid 800 coins a pop. Obviously, you can bid more if you want. Uh, obviously, the higher you bid, the more you know, the more likely you're going to be picking them up. Um, but if you bid 800, we might get outbidded. We might not. We're going to bid on like we'll bid on like 20 or something, and see how many uh, how many we get. But like I say, you can quite easily up the bids, you know, to 850, 800. I don't know why that's jumped from 30 seconds to um, to 30 minutes, but that's a bit weird. Uh, let's go 850 again. Why has that done that? My market's now glitched. Brilliant. That, that's just, that's a complete lie. But yeah, I mean, like I say, we've been outbidded on all of these, but for 850, which is, for us, that's good. So now we know, um, or now you know. Um, basically, if you bid 800, you're not going to get them. So if you bid 850, you're going to basically pick up every single one. So that's what we're going to do. Obviously, if I could bid and, the, and my market wasn't glitched, I would be bidding 850 on every card now. Um, any card you see, bid for 850. And I'd lazy sell them for 1.1. Why not? You, you're not going to lose coins um, because, you know, they are going to sell at 1.1. Um, you know, they might not sell instantly, um, but obviously they're not going to sell instantly, but they will sell off eventually. Uh, and obviously when they do, you're going to make an extra 100 coins every single card. Uh, and if you, like I say, if you bid for 850, what's that? 150, 250 coins per card, take away like 60 coins on tax. So you're making basically 200 per card, which is, you know, pretty good profit, especially if you're on a lower budget. 200 every card is generally good. Uh, I mean, you know, you pick up 10 cards, you're making 2K. And I, I can assure you, you know, picking up 10 cards for 850 is not difficult. I mean, I just bidded on nearly 10 and lost basically every single one to 850. I mean, boom, 850, 850, 900 on some of them. But yeah, how many How many would we have picked up if we went 853? 
uh, four, five. So you would have already picked up five. That's a thousand coins profit uh, when you obviously sell them off, which is, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't complain of that, but yeah. Um, Not another one. Oh, this is going to be loud. Um, sorry about that. Someone has just joined the premium. You should uh, you should do that as well, boys. Um, but yeah, like I say, that is going to wrap up the first method. Bid for 800, uh, 850, sorry. Sell for 1.1. You're laughing. But yeah, the next method is going to be the higher budget. So this one's going to be gold rare. Position, we are going to leave at any. Playstyle, it doesn't really matter. Playstyle plus. Chem style, leave at any. Nation, we are going to go down to France. And then league, we are going to go to the Arkema uh, PL, which is the obviously the women's French league. Um, and then you want to go to the minimum buy now and go to 10.25. That basically gets rid of the uh, the lower budget players. So you've got Madri here. Uh, and as soon as you obviously go 10.25, she disappears. Um, and then you obviously want to go and find the new buy now, <clears throat> which are the two players we're looking at, which is going to be Katoto uh, and then also Reynard. Um, and like I said, they're both exactly the same price. They're selling at 16k, which is good. Uh, you are going to lose 800 coins per card. So all we're going to do is go down 1,250 uh, and then basically try and snipe anything that obviously pops up. Uh, I mean, you're making, what is it, 1,250 take, take away 800. What's that? Uh, 450 per card, which is, you know, fairly decent. Uh, and obviously the best time to be doing these filters, especially the higher budget, is obviously basically anything after 6pm. Just because there is a lot more supply on the market. The more supply, uh, or basically the more players on the game, the more packs get opened, the more obviously times these players get packed. Uh, and obviously the more times they get packed, the more chance they have of getting up, you know, getting put up for cheaper. It basically all makes sense. The more people, the more you're going to pick up. That is, you know, so do, do it when, you know, there is more people playing and you will get better results. Um... But yeah, for me though, sniping is always better at 7 p.m. This market is so delayed; it's not even funny. Like I don't understand how you can make a game so delayed. Like it's silly. Um, unless they're just trying to stop us sniping, but it's not going to stop us. Or it might do, but it won't stop me. But yeah, basically, um, uh, I want to quickly check the uh, the bidding for this because even though obviously they're 88 rated or whatever, the bidding still can be quite good. Um, Obviously, as well, you've got two other players in there, so you've got Batter as well. All you want to do is go onto Footbin, search how much she's going for. If she's 20k, you know, take away the 5% on tax, which is uh, 1,000 coins, and bid, you know, for like 500 coins profit. So, obviously, if she's 20k, you're going to want to go and bid, you know, 18 and a half or something like that. Um, and obviously, you know, if she she might not be 20k, so don't listen to that. But whatever she is, just you know, work it out. It's not that difficult. The bidding at the minute isn't too great though. But like I say, later on, when we get a lot more supply, uh, especially at 7 p.m., there will be uh, a lot of bids. You know that you can pick up, and obviously, you know, if you can pick them up, then you're going to make some pretty nice coins. But there we go. We are going to leave that there though um, and jump into the final method of today's video which is going to be the second low budget uh, and obviously the first one was Real Madrid but now this one is going to be Atletico Madrid. We're going to go to obviously La Liga um, and then go to Atletico uh, and these are a little bit cheaper than the Real Madrid ones. Um, these are about, how much are these, 900, refresh the market, let's have a look. Uh, I mean, yeah, so it's 900 coins we're going to sell at. Obviously, 40 minutes, they're going to sell. Uh, it's just how, how long you want to wait. Um, but, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you want to get them rid of, rid of them instantly, just go 850. It's easy. Um, but, yeah, 900. You are going to lose 45 coins per card. So all we're going to do is go down 200 coins to about 700 uh, and then basically try and pick up anything that obviously pops up. Um, like I say, sniping is uh, is good, but... The best thing to do, especially on these lower budgets, um, is going to be bidding because obviously, like I say, sniping is it's not difficult or it is, it is a little bit difficult at the minute. Um, but hopefully whenever they do sort this, um, sort this, what's it called out, um, sort this market out so it stops a delay, then the, the sniping should be back in, uh, in full action. But like I say, it doesn't really matter if you can't snipe anyway because bidding is the best way to go. Bidding's always been better than sniping. You pick up so many more cards, so you know, so much quicker. Um, I mean, look, and it's also easy. You know, you, there's no stress. All you literally do is just chuck bids on. Uh, it's that simple. Um, 
obviously, you know, what you can do, especially like, well, like I said with the first method, try out 700. If you don't pick up many, see obviously how much they are going for. Because, you know, if, they're, if people are bidding 750 and winning them, that obviously means, you know, you can do that as well. Um, and, you know, all you have to do is list it for an extra 50 coins. It's that simple. It's easy. Um, and you will make, obviously, profit anyway. I mean, you don't even have to sell it. You know, you don't even have to sell for extra. You're still going to make coins um, if you obviously sell for the same price. But, yeah, I mean, look, these are all getting 750, 800. So basically that means just bid 750 and you will win pretty much most of them. But, yeah, like I say, three very nice methods, though, boys. Trust me, they do work. Um, and obviously, you know, you just have to work out obviously what kind of prices are working best And this also should work a lot better late at night as well. Obviously with there being less people on the game um, You know, obviously there's less people gonna be out bidding out bidding you and stuff like that But there we go. We're gonna leave that there though and wrap up today's video three very nice methods Obviously do them at the right times. I'm not gonna lie if you've got a bot or anything You're gonna make some pretty good coins, but I don't recommend you use a bot because you might get banned um, Or hopefully you do because you know, you ruined sniping, I can't lie. Um, but yeah, drop a like, subscribe. You want to get yourself in the premium and get obviously all these filters early and obviously get investments uh, early and stuff like that. The right times to buy, right times to sell. Get yourself in there. Link in the description. I will see you in the next video, boys, which will be tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, peace.